and gives you a nice base to work off of. And what I would do from there, once it's tacked to the miniature, is take my green stuff and snip off a little piece of it. You, not a you know, huge piece, just, just enough to make you a um, like a small little tube or a snake of green stuff. See at one end, you see there I rolled it out as a sharp point and give it thicker towards the other end. So what then I do is start here at the edge and lay it over the, the, the uh, cloak area, sort of like that. Then it would take, say, like a stylus or whatever you use for forming and dampen it and then trying to keep my fingers back out of the way so you can see what's going on and still hold it but I'd go down the edge and sort of smooth out a section let me just get this glasses off there. and uh, work that basically down to the original cloak area then go back through and once you got it getting stuck down to the green stuff by going like you know back and forth across the uh, the piece then I'd come in with an, a smoothing tool like this and just drag it over and back till I got a good smooth fold this green stuff here is not wanting to stick real well because my stuff was a little dirty so I'm going to have to block you for a second while I smooth this down which will give you a nice little curve in the piece so you got the little bit there at the end. You know, what maybe not want. Simply snip it. So now you've got a fold running down the piece. So then what I would do after you get the first one down, just start working across. Take you another little sausage. Because you'll always be thinner to top, make you start out thin. Give you a little bit of space there to work out the fold. Start the second one. And repeat the first step by just simply taking your smoother and you work down to the first fold. Then drag down this other side. got two folds. Adjust that collar a little bit. It's a little too bright for you to see, ain't it? One second. The little camera work here. See? Then you just keep repeating that step over and over. Like see here I've got a bit left over from the first one. Loop it back in.
then once you get to one side down you smooth down the other there on the end you don't want. Now it's gone. I see this is a little harder to do it this way than um, most normal ways to do a, uh, do a cloak by just trying to basically be able to that you guys see what I'm doing at the same time making it look good is a little tough but going back, keeping your tool into a damp, not wet, going through and just smoothing down the folds, you'll start seeing the cloak. What I would do now that I'm halfway through that cloak, and basically I got uh, ridges going towards the middle, like here. You got a good smooth one here in the middle that's not basically pointed on either side. It's just sort of lipped to be raised, but not really lipped to be an angle. Is I would turn the piece over smooth that let's say smooth that in towards nice and just raised but not angled. going the other direction. Take your green stuff. Sort of get it started. Go in. Pushing away from the center to the edge. Because the first one we pushed to the edge. The other side, through the edge this way. Then just work back and forth until you get it a nice fold going both directions. this one I got a little short just stretch it down to the edge but then like I say once you get all these little folds in you'll go through and just start working edges to get some life into it so that it looks like it's a little flowy. You know what I mean? Just sort of, there's it's not just a dead space. You know, hanging, give it a little curve or a little winds catching it there, whatever.
Sorry about that. I pulled it out of the screen, didn't I? When you get to the other side, do it the same way. Just reverse your angle. So this is a relatively small little cloak. You know, it's not really 40 k or fantasies or whatever, but uh, it's just generally a little show to uh, give you an idea of how I go about making a cloak onto something. Uh, actually, my green stuff's getting just a little too dry. I've let it out too long. We said I've tried to make this video a couple different times in a couple different ways, but um, this is a first little start video to give you some idea on cloth. Let me work this here a second, and I'll give you a, a closer look so you can sort of see where I went with it. See, my fingers are dry, which is a no-no. You want to, you know, your fingers should be a little damp. My green stuff's a little dry, which is a no-no. But like I say, this is mainly just a little thing to show you what we're looking at, not so much a finished piece. So. Just to focus here just a little bit. And you'll end up with something along those lines. By just adding it in. And um it'll sit there on his back. that would be a general way I would make a cloth piece by taking the sausages and smoothing it in and making a, it flow in little ridges and stuff um, one thing you, know, you will rarely see uh, here. okay there we go is when you see a cloak you'll um, it works the same way with these folds. If say the cloak would have been would be like that, you sort of you want it sort of rolled around. You take the same base, and whenever you glued it to the miniature, you you know, just sort of work rounded edges and stuff, and it'll give it a more of a flow look. So it's not just a flat hanging down piece. So. The same thing, the same technique would work there. Just you just lay it over the contours you have, and smooth it in to make your folds. Um, 